Have you ever felt like something was missing in your life? You wake up each day feeling drained and unhappy and like you're just going through the motions. Hi, I'm Gail Marie from Six Dimensions of Healing and I've been helping people find their soul path for a very long time now, well over 20 years. Maybe you've tried different forms of self-care or therapy but nothing seems to bring lasting change in your life or makes you happy. Well, this could be the perfect time to take a step back and look at the bigger picture of healing. This is where we'll explore the six dimensions of healing, a path to holistic wellness that can help you discover a new level of peace and happiness. We've experienced the power of the six dimensions of healing in our own lives as they're an integral part of the law of attraction. So I want to show you how these dimensions wind their way through our part, how our, every part of our lives. So that when you become familiar with the six dimensions of healing, you can begin to get your life back on track and move in a direction of life that you truly love, that makes your heart sing. Imagine waking every morning with a smile on your face, just eager to get the day underway. The first dimension of healing is physical. Our bodies are incredible machines that need care and attention. It's not rocket science that a healthy diet, regular exercise and adequate sleep are crucial to manifesting physical well-being. When we neglect our bodies, we can experience fatigue, and we can have illness and also chronic pain. So by prioritizing our physical health, it's the first way that we can increase our energy levels and feel more vibrant and alive. The second dimension is mental. Our thoughts have a powerful impact on our well-being and indeed our happiness. Negative self-talk and limiting beliefs can and often do hold us back from living our very best lives. So it's essential to examine our thought patterns and challenge them when they don't serve us. The indicators are when you're feeling insecure, frightened or angry. Then we find that mindfulness and meditation practices can help us to stay present and focus on the positive aspects of our lives. They do a reset. The third dimension is emotional or spiritual. They're both connected. Our emotions and spiritual beliefs are intertwined and play a vital role in our overall health. For instance, when we can't express ourselves lovingly, we get throat problems or lose our voice. So we must learn to express our emotions in a healthy way and develop a sense of purpose and meaning in our lives. That means no more pushing down those emotions we don't want to look at. Spiritual practices such as meditation, prayer if you like, connecting with nature and also emotional release can help us connect to our higher selves and find happiness. The fourth dimension is vibration. Everything in the universe vibrates at a particular frequency, including our bodies and our thoughts. When we raise our vibration, we attract more positivity into our lives. Practices such as yoga, sound healing and spending time in nature can help us raise our vibration and connect with the energy of the universe. The fifth dimension is intention. Our thoughts and actions must align with our deepest desires and intentions. This means we must set clear goals for ourselves and take the action steps to achieve them. Even small goals like feeling good today, I have an intention to feel great. Then when something comes along and knocks us off that track, we can remind ourselves to feel good no matter what. That's an intention and the action is moving back to that intention. So action steps don't have to be huge. They just need to be important for that goal. When we live with intention, we feel much more empowered and in control of our lives. The sixth and final dimension is attitude. Our attitude determines our outlook on life and the ability to handle challenges. When we have a positive attitude, 
you can see the silver lining in difficult situations and approach life with a sense of optimism and new perspective. Gratitude practices and affirmations can help us cultivate a positive attitude and attract more positivity into our lives. I was often told as a teenager that I had a bad attitude and that made me feel really unloved, unwanted and unworthy. I really felt that the universe had dealt me a bad hand as some people had fun and happy outlooks on life and things really worked out for them. But I'd been born with a bad attitude. I really did think this was how it worked and therefore things never worked out for me. This bad attitude just perpetuated as when I felt hard done by, I would get really angry and that gave me a worse attitude, of course. And although I've been told this by numerous people such as parents, school teachers, guidance counsellors and my so-called friends that avoided me, nobody, not one person ever told me that it wasn't something I was born with and that I could change it. I was in my early 20s before I found that out and it was so freeing. So if you have something in any of these dimensions that you think you're stuck with and that holds you back from being happy, just know that it's all changeable. You don't have to work on all of these dimensions to create your five star life. By addressing just one of them, one of the six dimensions of healing, it can automatically elevate the other dimensions and we can achieve a holistic wellness to live our best lives. I'll say that again, you don't need to work on all of the six dimensions of healing, so there's no need to get overwhelmed. And don't be too hard on yourself. It's essential to remember that healing is a journey and although you have a win on one day, there will be an old devil that pops up in the form of a, a thought or a challenge, whether physical or emotional, on the next day. So just take comfort in knowing that every challenge is an opportunity that takes us in the direction of our best lives. Always, and that's a promise. When we listen to our bodies and our intuition, we make choices that serve our highest good. That helps our, us follow our soul's blueprint and the path is smoother and much less bumpy. So that's why we put it into the Six Dimensions of Healing book. We wrote the Six Dimensions of Healing so that we could share our method of raising your vibration to live your very best life, your five star life. And it works. Discovering the Six Dimensions of Healing is a path to holistic wellness that can help us achieve a new level of peace and happiness. And remember, you don't need to work on them all. Just choose the easiest dimension and give it a go. Because pri by prioritizing your physical, mental, emotional, vibration, intention and attitude dimensions, you can live a more vibrant and empowered life. But remember to be kind to yourself and approach healing with an open mind and heart because anything you don't like, you weren't born with. And so it's all transformable, the whole lot. Thanks for joining me. I'm Gail Marie from Six Dimensions of Healing.